and events. What is the probability of getting a king and a queen when selecting a single playing card? These are mutual exclusive events. There is no single card that is both a king and a queen. Therefore, the probability of selecting a single card that is a king and a queen is zero. So it's never going to happen. It's impossible. What is the probability of getting a card that is a king and a heart when selecting a single playing card from a normal deck? Remember that a normal deck has 52 cards. These are not mutually exclusive events. So let's have a look at a solution using a Venn diagram. Let the cardinal number of elements in the universal set be the number of cards in a normal deck. That's 52. Let the cardinal number of elements of K be the number of kings in a normal deck of cards. Let the cardinal number of elements of H be the number of hearts in a normal deck of cards. So we start with our rectangle which we label as U for the universal set. We draw a circle that we label as K, which represents the kings. We draw another circle that we label as H, which represents the hearts. And they have to intersect because there is one king of hearts in a deck of 52 cards. There are four kings in total in a deck of 52 cards. If we take out the one king of hearts, we have three left over that are not hearts. And there are 13 hearts in a normal deck. If we take out the one king of hearts, there are 12 left over that are not kings. And 52, take away 3, take away 1, take away 12, leaves us with 36 cards left over. We must pay particular attention to the intersection. As this is the outcome we are interested in. From the Venn diagram, the number of cards that are kings and hearts is the card number of elements of K intersection H, which is 1. So the probability of getting a king and a heart when selecting a single playing card is 1 over 52. Because remember, probability is what we want over the total. So we want the pro probability that we have a king and a heart. There's only one of them. So 1 goes in our numerator. Over total... Of 52 cards so it's 1 over 52. Now let's have a look at the solution using a sample space diagram. We can list all the cards in a normal deck. Remember that we're looking for a single playing card that is both a king and a heart. So we list the hearts, the diamonds, the clubs and the spades and we see we have four kings there's only one of them that is a king of hearts so 1 over 52. We've highlighted one card out of a possible 52, so the probability of getting a king and a heart when selecting a single card is 1 over 52. And lastly, let's have a look by counting outcomes. It is probably easier if we can count the number of outcomes that would give us a king and a heart, which is one outcome, the king of hearts. The total number of desirable outcomes is 1, the total number of possible outcomes is 52, so the probability of getting a king and a heart when selecting a single playing card is 1 over 52.